Hi there. So I'm currently in the middle of implementing a functionality to my ChatWTF ChatGPT clone project, where ChatGPT will actually speak out the response that it gives. So if I type here something like write a poem about a cat, it will start writing the poem and I would like it to directly start speaking out the poem as it is writing, but currently it doesn't work until it gets to the end, if I actually turn on the volume. <laughs> With eyes that spark like emerald gems, a regal feline born in diadem. But the problem is that I am using the PHP built-in server to run this. And the PHP built-in server only supports one connection at a time. But I am reading the response from ChatGPT from an event source. So that is one connection. And then while I'm doing that, I need to make another connection to generate the text for each of the paragraphs. But I can't do it right now because it is waiting for the event source to finish. So in today's video, I'm going to dockerize this project. So then I can actually have multiple connections at the same time. So let's do that. Now, I'm not super familiar with Docker, but I have done some things with it. So I'm sure I can do this. So let's just start by creating a Docker file. So I am going to clear this thing and I am going to say code Docker file. Now we are going to have to use some sort of Apache or something, which is, I think, what I will use. So there in fact is a package for PHP and this is made with PHP, so I will use that. So I am going to say from PHP, um, PHP 8.2, it's something like this, I don't remember, so I am going to Google this. PHP Docker image. There is an official image here. And I think I have to use the Apache version. So there is going to be somewhere PHP FPM Alpine. I might use that one. Um, here's Apache, okay. So PHP colon and then the version and Apache. And then we just copy the source directory into this one. So let's do that. So we are going to use PHP as the base image for Docker. Now, if you don't know what Docker is, which you probably know if you clicked on this video, but if you don't know, I can explain it shortly. Uh, I can probably give you the best explanation of what it is, but basically it is kind of like a virtual server, but it is not a virtual server. So with Docker, you can create what is called a container that is running basically some Linux distribution inside of that Docker image. And then you can stack on top of that other images like PHP, you can have Apache in there, you can have all kinds of things. I don't know the specifics, the technical details of how it works. You can Google it if you want. But basically, what it allows you to do is create like a very isolated environment where you can run a project, like a website or whatever. And you can run it on any operating system. So when I create this Docker file now on Ubuntu, you can still use it on Windows or Mac, because it is going to use the same Linux distribution in the background inside the Docker image. So that Linux distribution will be on top of Windows or Mac or whatever. So then if it works for me, then it should work for you. Basically, that is the idea. And I am using it now so that I don't have to move all these files into the Apache directory on my computer and stuff like this, if I want to run it in Apache and then have multiple connections. So it is just an easy way to just download some project and then just run it. So that's what we're going to do. And we are going to use PHP 8.2. And we are going to use Apache. Because that is what I'm familiar with. Now, I probably don't have to do any Apache configuration with this. Probably. <laughs> but this is basically what we're going to do. So we are going to use this as the base image. So it will pull in Apache and it will pull in PHP. All that good stuff. And then we have to say copy. Which will copy from the current directory where the Docker file is, some files into the actual Docker container. So we are just going to copy everything. Now we don't have an SRC. We have an SRC folder, but it has just these classes here, but we want everything in there. So we are going to add here, copy 
dot for everything in the current directory into var dot 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 html, which is the default folder for Apache. So everything in here will be copied inside the container into this folder. And then, now I'm using Python here as well, so I guess I have to add Python as well, which I'm not sure, do I just install? I think I better just do something like cmd and I do um, apt install Python 3. Although it might be installed already because most Linux distributions come with this, but perhaps the one that Docker uses does not have it, so I guess I have to install that. Let me actually see. Um, let me ask ChatGPT, and that is the easiest way to do this. Um, how do I install Python 3 on a Docker container? And Docker file is um, from Python 3, okay? But what if I am using um, PHP as the main image. Can I have multiple images or do I have to just then use run? Exactly. So I have to do that. So I think you can only have one from statement. So this is the base image. So let's in fact do exactly what ChatGPT says. So we're not going to use CMD, we are going to use run, which is different in... I'm not quite sure what is different. <laughs> I saw here that they were using like an array in CMD like this. So I guess that is the difference. But we are just going to say run. So we are going to update the apt repository and then we are going to install Python 3 and Python 3 pip. I guess we need pip and maybe we don't need the comment right here. And we can then install 11 labs because we need that for the audio. So we will say run pip install 11 labs. I think we can just do this. And what else do we need? So we have to use expose to expose a port into this Docker container. So we are going to do expose AD. So that means it will like open in the firewall of Docker this port. And then what we can do is we can forward another port from our computer into that port. So that's how we get access to it. But this is the port that everything inside the Docker container will see. So like the Apache configuration will have port 80. It will be listening on port 80. And then we have to maybe do this. I'm not sure because it didn't say anything here. Um, yeah, so this is on the CLI. But what if I'm not using CLI? That is the only thing that has CMD in it. So, mm, okay, so the difference between CMD must be that CMD actually like keeps it running. So that's like the last thing you do. This is what we run inside of the Docker container that then you can connect to. But run is just one step in the process. Well, this is the last thing. And I do need to install SQLite because I'm using SQLite. Now, I'm using the sessions here now, but in case you want to use the SQLite, then you should be able to do that. And I should have somewhere in the readme file how to install it, but I... I think I deleted it already. So let me go to my GitHub repository. And let me check. I think I deleted it after I changed to have the session storage by default. So let's go back here. SQLite added, added database storage. So I'm pretty sure here I added... Okay, I have to do this. So the app install PHP SQLite 3. So... Let's just add it here. Python, uh, sorry, uh, PHP SQLite 3. I think I had to do something else. Did I? Not sure. Let's see what will happen. So we need to build it and we have to then add this P flag so that we can set our own port that we will forward from our machine into the port inside of the application in the Docker container. And we have to run docker build. And I'm not quite sure what is t and what is dot. I think uh, dot is just a, the location where the docker file is located. And the name here is just a name. And I guess t means the name. Let's see what it means. Let's do man docker. And is there somewhere t? Mm, 
There's no T. Perhaps it just means the name. So we are going to do docker build T chat WTF. And we are going to add dot. So let's see what will happen if we do this. We got an error because you have to run this as sudo. And then we are going to build all of these images. We are going to download the images. We are going to install all this stuff and we get an error. What was the error? PHP SQLite 3 has no installation candidate, which is interesting. So let's search. Do they have SQLite here? No. Let's do PHP SQLite uh, Docker. Or just ask chat to be this the best way all the time. How do I install SQLite with PHP in a Docker container? Lip SQLite 3 dev Docker PHP X install PDO PDO SQLite. Uh -huh. So we are going to do that. So let's copy this. And in fact, I just copy lib SQLite 3 dev and I am going to do this. Docker PHP X install PDO, PDO SQL. Okay, let's do this. Now, the cool thing about Docker is that it will cache some of the results. So, in fact, it would be beneficial to run some of these in a separate command. Because now, if we change this command, it cannot cache all of these Python and stuff. So, every time we change this, it has to download all of these. But, let's see if... Mm, Unable to locate package PDO SQLite. Sorry. <laughs> this was a different command. These are not packages. Sorry about that. So we have to run this separately. So run. Um, okay. This one is a package, but then we are going to run docker php x install PDO PDO SQLite. Great. And I think I will move this into another thing. I will say run app get update. Sorry, we don't have to do that anymore. We just say app get install y, this one. And I do this separately because we can then only change this part and it doesn't have to run this anymore on the next one. So you really have to think about what order you put things in. In fact, you should move the copy down here because every time you then change something in your code, you have to do everything again if you put the copy up there. Because it will basically know what is the state of the container after each of these steps. And if the state changes, then you have to do everything after that. So let's do this and let's run it. And now we are going to install Python. So hopefully if there's a problem here, we don't have to install Python again. Okay, and now we're going to install SQLite. And then we're going to install the PHP X install PDO and PDO SQLite. And then we are going to pip install 11 labs. And we got an error now because maybe pip is not installed globally. So I think we can do like Python uh, m pip install, Python 3 m pip install 11 labs, something like this. So now it should cache all the other stuff and it should go directly into this, like that. But it still doesn't work. Oh, sorry. We actually got something. This environment is externally managed. To install Python packages system-wide, try apt install. Uh-huh. So can I just do Python 3, uh, apt install Python 3.11 labs? That seems wrong. But let's see. Okay, let's go back to chat GPT. How do I install a Python package in a Docker container? pip install our requirements. Um, what? What does this mean? Did I get the same error up here too? Mm. This environment is externally managed. I've never installed <laughs> anything on a Docker container with pip, so I don't know how to do this. Let's turn to Google. How to install pip packages in Docker container. Let's see. Washington University. What? Okay. Case study. Wait a second. Python. Python 3 pip. So if I do, and what am I doing? apt dash install. Just apt install. Let's try one more time. Okay. We, okay. No. What is the problem? Pip 
install 11 apps. Why can I not do pip install 11? Um, let's Google this. Docker. Why on earth does this happen? Tell me the answer, please. Too long, didn't read. So let's see Stack Overflow. You can use Python's then, like described here. However, if you really want to install packages that way, then there are a couple of solutions. Break system packages. Well, okay, maybe we don't want to do that. What is this? So we have to do that. Okay, I won't say anything, but why? Why do we have to do this? So we can do this. We can start a virtual environment. And then we can activate it. And then we can do Python m pip install 11. Actually, I have a requirements.txt. Do I? I don't. I should create one. So I will say install r requirements.txt. If it's going to work, do I have to set the work dir? Work dir var html. And let's create code requirements.txt. And let's add 11 labs. And let's try and build this thing. So we are directly going into... Well, actually, now we have to do everything again because I added the work there in the beginning. So now we are doing it again, but we get an error. Because I used the wrong syntax. These have to be run separately. I should add and here. But now it should cache everything and we go directly into that. But it still doesn't work. We have to install then. Amazing. So I'll just add it here. Run. Um, app get install. Why? Python 3.11 then. And let's do this the 500th time. And now we're doing something. But it still doesn't work. Source not found. Because that has to be... Like run inside of the environment. Do I have to run this separately? I have no idea. Run source. Can we do this? Let's do all separately. Run. Why is everything so difficult with Python? This is why people don't use Python. It's a good language, but everything is so difficult to get it up and running. Okay, so how do you do this in Docker? Source is a bash extension. Dot will work in all shells. So do I need to just run like um, 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 dot slash dot bin value activate? No. What is there? Permission denied. We are going to do it the wrong way because this is not fun. I am going to break system packages. Thank you very much. Run Python 3 m pip break system packages of r requirements dot text let me know in the comments if you know how to do this and then i will update my code or send me a pull request and i will not install then i will just do that and let's see if this finally works i have to copy the stuff first because my requirements of text is i will in fact copy just the requirements i will do this requirements dot text and it is going to work, hopefully. Why does it not work? No such option. Where do I have to put the thing? Use pip's argument. But now I'm using Python m pip. So can I not pass this in there? Pip install. Do I have to do this? Pip install. Finally, we are doing something. Hopefully this will work. Okay. We have now successfully built a Docker image. So what we can do now is we can run it. We can do sudo docker run. And we pass the p flag and we put some sort of port here. And we forward that port into the AD port of chat WTF. Mm. It's like this. We are now running. So let's go to Three, two, one, and see what we have there. Localhost through four, three, two, one. I have something there before, before previously, and look at this. We are actually running it. First, 
the first try here. Yeah, yeah. So now it works. And if we now send a poem to this, it should read out the poem. And I am going to put some volume here. And let's do write a poem about a frustrating experience with Python. We have an error. So something is not working. And one of the things that might not be working is that I don't have my 11 labs API, but I should have my open AI API because it is in the settings.php, which we will, which we have copied already. So let's do hello. And what happens? Okay. No buffer to delete. Attempt to write a read only database. Okay. So let's fix these issues. First of all, in message.php, we do op and flush. So we will do if um, ob get contents, then we are going to do this. Is there like ob? Um, I think we just do that. Or is there has, has contents? I think we have to do exactly this. If there is contents, then we flush the buffer. And why did we use SQL conversation in 113? So SQL conversation 113 is here. So why did we actually do this? We shouldn't do this right now. Why did we call save? Where are we calling save? Message. Well, here. Okay. So we, we save it directly. But we shouldn't be using a SQL conversation because our settings say that we actually are using SQL. So, okay. Never mind. So do I not have permissions on this file? Um, what permissions should I set to a SQLite database filed? 600, and then your user, your group. So let's do this. We can do docker run it bash and chat WTA. So this will, if we say sudo, this will actually... No, that's not so drawn. This is the other way. Docker run it chat WTF bash. So it not your. So this will now connect to the actual instance or the Docker container. So now we are actually here and we can probably see if I can type what. So everything is owned by root. So we are going to have to change it to dub 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 data probably. So at least database, so cd database, and this is also owned by root. So we have to say chown chat wtf.db, um, we are going to say dub 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 data, uh, dub 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 data. And let's try it again, because you know, we, have to, we have to run the thing again. We can exit and we can run this again. So hopefully it uses the same code, and if I now Go here and I refresh and I say hello. Then we still get an error. Let's see what is the error. Well, we still get the notice and we get this one. Um, did it start something over? Let me go again here and see the database. And we have changed it back. So I am going to add that into our Docker file. So I'll say here, run, shown our, can I just make everything owned by dub 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 data dub 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 data dub 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 data perhaps just the database <laughs> just to be safe database slash chat wtf dot database and let's then exit and let's run this thing again so we are going to run this and i think i have to add like a build here nope is it going to build it automatically no so i don't think that worked um it's different it, okay we have to say docker run, docker build, docker build t chat wtf dot. So now we will build it again. Now there's a tool called docker compose, which is a pretty nice tool. And with that, you can build and run at the same time. But right now we are just going to do this. And we are going to now run with 4321.80 and chat wtf. I think that was all. So now it's running. Hopefully it actually built it again. And if I say hello, then we still get an error. Okay, what does this mean? 
Maybe maybe it's not dub 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 data. Web root. Is it a different? Mm. Can I like go in there and go here and see what is this? It's dub 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 data. CD HTML. CD DB. It is because the DB uh, folder is still not owned by dub 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 data. Let's try to do the whole folder. Chose R and let's build it again. And let's run it again. And let's refresh and say hello. And now we got an answer. So now it's working. Now it's not going to speak um, probably because we don't have the API key. So th there's actually going to be an error. Yeah, you can see here. So we don't have the environment variable. Now I would like it to come from the settings.php, which I have here. So how should I do this? Because it's a Python script that is running it. I could pass it into that. So if I set here uh, 11 labs API key, so I will say 11 labs API key is going to be something which is export, sorry, echo 11 labs API key. It is this. Now I can actually pass in environment variables to Docker, but I really want to have everything in the same place. So if I have it here, and then in my text to audio.php, I pass it in to this Python script. So let's add it here. Let's add one more thing, which will be escape shell argument. And this is going to be settings um, 11 labs, 11 labs API key. And I have to say that the settings is require settings.php. And then I have to change my script here so that it will do this. Let's move down one. And if we have less than three arguments, it's, it's far because the zeros is the name of the application, then we are not going to give an error, but we are going to read it from the environment. And otherwise, we are going to... Let's do this. Let's say here, set API key, open AI API key, not open AI, 11 labs API key, and we are going to say this. 11 labs API key is that, and I wrote it wrong here. So if we don't have the command line argument, we will get it from the environment. Otherwise, the 11 left API key will be sys.argv3. And we have to say, um, is there like a safe way of doing it? Because I think it will give an error if we don't have this. Or what was the error? Ah, the error was that, okay. The error came from this function. So I can say here, if not 11 labs API key, then we give an error, which is no API key provided. Now I have to change my usage. Let's do def print usage. And let's print this. But I should do something like this. Input file, output file, and then API key is the optional one. So let's do that. And let's do print usage. So then we don't have to write it many times. And we don't have to exit. And let's save that. And now since we have it in the settings, then it should work. So if I build this again, and I run it. Then now, moment of truth. I refresh this, and I say, hello. Hello, how can I assist you today? Now it is talking to us. But now, the real moment of truth. If we ask it to write a poem, will it start to speak before the poem has finished? So let's say, write a poem about a cat. And we are starting to write, and there is one paragraph already. So is it going to write it? In a world of stealth yes. and graceful stride, a creature dwells with eyes so wide, with whiskers twitching, tail held high, in silence it prowls beneath the moonlit sky. The feline majesty, a sight to behold, with fur so soft and colors bold, its presence demands both respect and awe as it claims its kingdom with sharpened claw. 
Eyes of gold shimmering in the night, reflecting secrets hidden from sight. A hunter's gaze so fiercely keen, tracking prey through forests green. But now we stopped. From rooftop oh. perches to cozy nooks, still... the cat explores curious looks. Leaping and bounding with elegant grace, it finds solace in its own secret space. Okay, I want to see what is going on because it is a bit slow. So it's pending, it's creating the audio. Okay, so we successfully installed the Docker image, but my code is not working properly. Or my, my queuing system is not working properly. It says it's playing, but it's not playing. So what is the problem here? I'm not quite sure. So we are actually... Okay, we are calling the same thing again. We are stuck in some kind of loop. So let me refresh this so we stop doing that. But at least we got the Docker file working. So now we can create a Docker image of this and then we can just connect to it and we can have multiple requests at the same time. Now, did I have some debugging in my script.js in the ended part? Ended. Yes, it should say ended when the audio has ended. And it says playing when it's playing. So what we got here, if I didn't close it, wait a minute, I saw that there were the same thing many times. Oh, this is the old one. Okay, I closed it already. Okay, let me try this one more time. I closed already my Docker image and I closed my console. So let's refresh and let's say again. Write a poem about cats and what is to the feline majesty i forgot to start with in the realm of whispers shadowy nights where moonbeams dance in celestial lights there dwells a creature both regal and sly the elegant guardian the kitty is so spry from ancient times a legend weaved of pharaoh's tombs where they were believed to guide souls through realms beyond sight with eyes that gleam in ethereal light Oh, cats of mystery with grace untold, through labyrinthine paths you tirelessly stroll, silent hunters of mice in moonlit chases, your stealthy paws leaving no visible traces. With fur as dark as the midnight abyss, and eyes that captivate with an enigmatic kiss, you prowl through street, a mysterious parade, commanding attention without ever showing. Okay. Your purrs, okay. a melody of tranquil delight, a symphony that lulls us into the night. You curl up on lamps, bringing solace and peace as we stroke your velvet coats, worries released. Okay, so now we are starting to create the same thing many times. Why is that? Let me stop this thing. So this will fail. So we, we created this many times. After we finished it, did I leave some kind of loop in the end? Where is my stops? Okay, if we still have a paragraph, then we add the paragraph to the key. Okay, that should be fine. What is going on? So I think I saw that we created the last one here already somewhere. Yes, so this is the last one. After create title, as it should be, because we create the title in the end, and then we got this, but then we got this again, text to audio. So text to audio. Create text to speech. We're doing it here. Do I have to set the paragraph to empty here? Paragraph is empty. Is that going to do something? Maybe. Let's try one more time. Now, I wish it was a bit faster because it did take some time to start speaking. And I believe I have to build this thing again. That's the <laughs> problem with Docker. Now, there are ways around this. So you can like create a volume from which it will, it will read the code so that you don't have to actually build it. Just change the code in the volume and it will work. But let's see one more time. I will empty this and this and let's try it. Write a dog. Write a dog. Write a poem about a dog. And we are writing it and we are creating these and we should... In a world where chaos oft prevails, a soul so pure, a love that sails, through mirth and glee, a furry friend, a loyal bond that will not bend. A creature with eyes that shimmer bright, reflecting so stars. We created all of these, so now it should just play them and then stop. So I think I fixed it. Let's see. With paws that tread both near and far, you're there to heal each hidden scar. Through playful bounds and joyful leaps, 
you chase away all sorrows key. In your embrace, pain soon subsides, as love entwines in soothing tides. But then we... No words are needed to convey, the language of love you keenly display. Your presence speaks volumes within our core, each wag of the mm. tail whispering more. From morning walks to sleep-filled mud, it's, you fill our lives with gleeful sights, with antics boundless and kisses galore, you etch upon our hearts forever. Oh, dog, you teach us lessons grand, of loyalty and trust in every strand. Your friendship unwavering like golden thread, a treasure cherished till days turn to lead. Through sunlit fields or stormy seas, your paw prints mark our memories. So let us honor your noble ways and bask in the light of your loving gaze. For as time unfolds its fleeting hours, our bond with you forever flowers. In this owned dear doggy friend so true, know our love for you is everlasting too. Okay, so something weird happens in the end. Because we create all of these things. Let me see if they are the same. So, in our world, and then a creature, O oh dog, through playful bounds, and no words from morning, O oh dog, and through sunlit, for as time. And then he starts to do it again. What is happening here? So, here we added, in a world, and creature, O oh dog, through, playful, and so on, no words. From, O oh dog, through sunlit, for as time. Okay, and then we just play, 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 play. And we finished handling nine times. So we have one, two, three, four, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine things here, so we are playing one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? <laughs> oh, here we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We played nine times, but why did it play the same thing again? That is weird. Um, playing. That is very interesting. But I'm going to finish this in the previous video, in fact, because I stopped that to do this video to create the Docker file. So if you want to see me finish this, then you have to go back to the previous video if you didn't watch that already. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what did you think of this video, and I will see you in the next one. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.